Libby here. I am back with a video as part of my little series that I'm doing which is autumn fall winter favourites and today's video is going to be about clothing and things that I like to wear during autumn and winter, things that I've picked up that I want to share with you, bits and pieces like that. So I'm actually going to jump right into it but if you haven't seen my previous video in this series I will put an annotation, uh, click on my face and it'll take you there. And um, it's my autumn and fall winter favourites but for makeup. So go and have a look at that if you haven't already. And I'm just going to jump right in and show you guys the pieces that I'm really enjoying for autumn and winter. The first piece that I'm going to show you is a pair of shorts from Topshop. And they look like this. And they're a sort of maroony, burgundy tweed. And something about tweed that I've always liked, I think it might just be the fact that I'm British and we like our tweed in this country, but... They're great for winter because they're warm, but they're high waist. It depends on what sort of person that you are, but for me, higher waists, they just kind of work with my frame a little bit better. And, I don't know, I prefer them. But it's got no buttons on it whatsoever, it's just a clean waistline. It's got a little hook and eye sort of fastening. I, I prefer looking at these like horseshoes, I don't know why. But it's got a little zip and this did come with a tan leather belt with a nice gold fastening that my boyfriend says looks like a grenade pin and it is kind of true but I haven't got that on me right now I left that in my apartment but this is the first pair of shorts that I'm going to be wearing all through winter next is this little grey woolen mini skirt from H&M and this actually only cost £14.99 and the good thing about H&M is that it is incredibly bargainous that's like my favourite term for it it's just everything in there is just really well priced but you've got to also bear in mind that you're paying for what you're getting. So don't expect H&M stuff to last forever. That being said, I have a pair of denim shorts from H&M that I got like two years ago that cost me £9.99. And they're still going. So it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes the things will last a really long time and then sometimes they won't. But it depends. This cost £14.99. It isn't massively high-waisted. It just, I think, again, it depends on your body type. For me, it does come up a little bit higher because my legs are a little bit longer. But at the front, it has sort of pretend pockets, which you, I suppose you could use if you have, like, tiny, tiny, tiny hands. But if you're like me and you have nice normal-sized hands, you can't really get in them. But it's not too short. It'll come up to about halfway up your legs, you know, your thighs, all that sort of thing. But this is lovely if you like wearing grey and wool in the winter, if you're like me. This is what I like to wear. So a £14.99 from H&M. Another piece from H&M is this lovely midi length pencil skirt and the nice thing about this, apart from the obvious, is the fact that it's an above waist one so you can see the dip where it would go above your waistline. It's absolutely lush, I'm hoping you can see what I'm referring to. It has a nice little dip where it would just go right above your waist and then obviously that's where the curves fold out there but it's got lovely pleating on it. It's made of a really interesting material and I'm hoping the camera's going to pick up on it but it's got like ridges across it. Anyway, it's a midi length, and the nice thing about it is that obviously, if you don't want to wear something too short, it's a good length, but it's also really good for work. And it costs, let's have a look see, this is £24.99, but they always look so great with shirts, even if you're having like a casual day. My best friend, Nina, she is one of those people that wears workwear as casual wear, and I swear only she can pull it off, it's just like her, her thing, it just looks really good on her. And when I picked this up, she said to me, like, I know you don't wear workwear as casual wear, but if you can, like, picture it with, like, a really lovely, like, satin feel shirt and, you know, lovely black tights and a really nice good pair of black court heels. And I had to agree with her, it would look fabulous with a white blazer and everything like that. So £24.99 from H&M, really good workwear and also nice if you like to wear pencil skirts as casual wear. And the last skirt I've got to show you is from Zara. I picked up this absolutely immense little sort of metallic brocading kind of skirt and it is lovely. The thing I like most about it is this little flap detail at the front here, which does flap up, but it's, the other one is quite white cross. It looks absolutely stunning with black because it pops out so much, and if I was wearing this as an outfit, I would keep this as the focal point. So tend to, I would kind of keep the top half plain and simple and chic and just use this as the focal point of the outfit, but it was gorgeous. And it cost £22.99 from Zara, and this is from the... TRF collection, which is their little cheaper collection, but absolutely lush. I'm going to move on to tops. The first top I have to show you is one from H&M, and it costs £19.99, so about 20 quid here in the UK. And a shape that I really enjoy, regardless of whether it's for like autumn or for winter or for spring or summer, is a peplum shape. And when I say a peplum shape, I mean a shape like this, as in 
it goes in until you hit the waist and then it goes out at the bottom like a fishtail and you get skirts like this you know you have the fishtaily bit at the top and then it goes bodycon below and this top I find is incredibly flattering on somebody who has a shorter torso and longer legs like me is that it gives you a little bit of elongation it really nips you in at the waist and it just looks very chic it kind of reminds me of something from the 50s like you know something a la Grace Kelly Audrey Hepburn that sort of bunch they it's it, a peplum shape is a really flattering and very graceful shape and it does give you curves you know in all the right places but I love the fact that it's long sleeved I love the print it's like a stripe but it's because it's all one color it's like little ridges again and I really 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 like it and it's high back high neck it's very chic and very flattering and quite demure if you don't want to be showing too much skin so that's something I'm really looking forward to wearing all through autumn all through winter still sticking with H&M another color that I'm absolutely in love with for autumn is a rust color and that would be this color this top is beautiful I think it costs $14.99 but it's lovely if you find that this color isn't going to be flattering on you or your hair or your skin tone it works really well with pale people and I lightened my hair a little bit, I just washed some of the dye out with some of that colour B4 stuff and it just took it up a notch, took the kind of real darkness out and just kind of left me with a nice auburny, chestnutty kind of colour so it looks rather lovely with this sort of shade of top but the, the actual shaping and all the draping and the ruching on it is very very flattering going on to Topshop I picked up this absolutely lovely sheer blouse and this was a little bit more expensive, it was like £29 or maybe 30 something but I've been looking for the perfect sheer blouse for an incredibly long time and the nice thing about this one is that it's not too tailored so it's quite loose and quite flowy and as you can see like it does stretch quite far there's not a lot of tailoring to it but the nice thing about it is that there's no buttons I don't have to fiddle paddle around with it it's permanently shaped like this it's got a nice pleat at the back as well which I rather like I just like little details that Topshop put the effort in with but the nice thing about it is that when you wear it with a skirt, say if it's high waist or even a high waist pair of shorts, because it nips in, you get the floaty part at the top while still getting the tightness at the bottom which the skirt brings or the pair of shorts, whatever you're wearing. And yeah, I absolutely love floaty blouses, particularly if they're in a cream or like an off-white, really, really nice, very versatile and very, very good for winter, particularly if you put like a black lace camisole underneath. Moving on to sweaters. This sweater is probably my favourite thing that I've picked up. It's just something that I find it's just perfect for me for autumn and winter and it's this sweater here. It is a bright bubblegum pink with three quarter length sleeves. Actually these aren't even three quarter length, they just come to just above your elbow. And it's lovely, it's got a nice little cable knit detail around down the middle, not all the way across, just down the middle. But it has this lovely little bow tie up detail at the back of the neck. And it's coming up very bright pink on camera. In real life, it is bubblegum, but it's more of a muted bubblegum. But it's coming up like hot bubblegum pink. But it is so adorable. It's quite tight fitting. It's got cute, slight little puffy shoulders on it. And the only annoying thing about it is that the fluff that comes off it gets over absolutely everything. So now the leggings that I am wearing have turned into poodle legs. And the last sweater again from Topshop. Big, fluffy, white cable knit sweater. It's really lovely, high neck, but the neck is quite wide for a high neck, so it's not too prim and proper, it's just a bit quirky. Very long arms, which I've noticed. I think Topshop make clothes for exceptionally tall people, but the arms look quite cute when they're like rolled up a little bit. It's got strange, almost elbow pads at the back, if you can see that there. They're like extra knit, but it's very, very cute, very, very good for winter if you like cable knit like me, and it cost... £38. Next from Topshop is a snood. I like snoods. I think snoods are quite cool. Not the annoying skiing kind where they sort of just make you look like a weird skiing wizard, but um, these kinds are quite cute. If you like snoods, I think they're pretty good. They can act as a scarf, they're warm, but they can also make an outfit if it's like warm with red and stuff, because obviously this one's black, it looks quite nice, it pops quite nicely. This was £12 and if you just have a look at the actual fabric, if it's, my camera's gonna focus on it, let's have a look. It's really fluffy, very fluffy and very soft. On to coats and jackets, which I've hung up above me. On this side here is a nice sort of plummy, purpley coat from Topshop. It costs 98 pounds. So that is the belt. 
and as you can see it has a big skirt with lots of exposed seams very big skirt it's really nice if you like to look quite feminine you want to get extra curves going on nice black shiny buttons lovely collar and lots of exposed seams so that's really lovely in the middle we have a nice faux fur gilet thing going on and I'm a bit hit and miss with these sort of things I like them to be correct I don't like the zips on them I just like them to look literally like a furry waistcoat and the nice thing with this one from Zara is that it doesn't have seams, it has hook and eye fastenings. It does have them all the way down, but I've left most of them undone. It goes right up to the co collar. It's just hanging up on a Topshop um, hanger, but it is from Zara. It's on the TRF range. And it's $39.99. But the nice thing about it is that if worn with the correct outfit, they can look incredibly chic. I personally would wear it with a nice black polar neck, nylon or cotton, depending on your taste. I'd wear it with equestrian boots. I have ones in a, like a cherry red and a pair of black leggings or depending on your taste, jeans or whatever that sort of thing is. But it can look quite cool. And lastly, on this side is the blazer of the season, in my opinion anyway. This blazer is from Zara. Zara blazers are renowned for costing a lot of money. This one did cost me a fair bit. It's about $79.99 and you've got to be willing to spend the money on tailoring because the thing is, is that a lot more effort goes into them than into other pieces of clothing. But as my father says, it's in British Racing Green and the nice thing about it is that it's double breasted, which literally means there are two sets of buttons. Sometimes you get this on coats, but there are two sets of... The good thing about it, obviously, with it being double breasted is that you get a lovely wide lapel collar and... I actually personally find that double-breasted blazers look much, much, much more chic than single-breasted. We're big on double-breasted in the UK for some reason, it's something to do with our heritage, my dad says. It does have working pockets on the outside which are quite large, as you can see. And while it's a long-line blazer, it's not a boyfriend fit, it does cinch in at the waist. But it's a longer shape, and for me that's really good because it elongates my torso a bit. That is my favourite blazer and I love the colour, it's going to look absolutely stunning with red and with rust and with black and with white and everything and cream and fabulous. So those are the pieces that I'm going to be wearing all through autumn and winter. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found some sort of inspiration for your autumn or fall or winter wardrobe. And I will see you guys again with my next video which is going to be autumn, fall and winter nail varnishes. Have a lovely day wherever you are. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye bye!